Hey, what's up, YouTube? I want to do a quick video on getting started with your Beofin UD5R. For those of you guys that are already used to this or maybe more experienced with this radio, maybe this video isn't for you, but some of you guys that are new to this radio are just wondering how it operates. This might help you a little bit. So really quick, we're going to have our volume button up here. This is also going to be our power button. As you can tell here. So this radio is going to be programmed a little bit already. Speaking of programming, you are gonna have an option over here to uh, plug in a Kenwood style adapter and then plug it into your computer and program certain frequencies and your local repeater, which I highly recommend, especially with the Chirp software, which is like a $5 software or so. But if you don't have that and you wanna just program from the radio itself, what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in, let's say a random frequency of 139000. So at that point, I don't hear anything, but say this is a local repeater for you guys that you want to save. You're going to go to menu and you can either scroll up and down. I know it's going to be 27 just from using this already. So I'm going to press 27, which is going to bring me to memory channel, as you can see right there. At that point, I'm going to press menu again. Now I'm going to scroll up. If it has the CH already, that means you already have a channel saved already. So I want to find one that's free. So number two is free right there. Just so you know, again, so I can show you, number three has one saved already, but as you could tell, number two doesn't have the CH before. So at this point, if I wanted to save the random frequency, which I put in 139000, at this point, I'm gonna press menu again. And now that channel is saved. So as you can see, now it has a CH before, CH002. So when I exit out now, let's say I put in another random frequency and I want to go back to that 139000 right away. I press this button to go to channel mode. And now as you can see, turn that volume down, sorry about that. As you can see now, the number on the top right, when I go down to number two, that top frequency 139000 is now saved. So if I want to delete that number now, just so you guys know as well. I'm gonna press menu again. I'm already at the last one where 27 was the option, but if you go up to 28 right here, which is gonna see right here, top right 28, now I can delete this channel, which you see right here. If I wanna delete it, I'm gonna press menu again, which you see the arrow takes me down to this number now. I press menu again now. And now that uh, channel, as you can tell, is deleted because you don't see the CH before it anymore. So now that channel is freed up if I wanna save another frequency. Just so you guys know how to save uh, certain frequencies uh, for channel mode. So again, really quick, another random frequency, one, four, zero, 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 zero. Let's say I wanna save this frequency for my other friends and myself to have this frequency as a certain frequency that we know we're gonna check on if an emergency happens. We're gonna go to menu, down to 27, as you can see right here. And I'm gonna go down again with menu save it under this one's already used up let's go to number two because we know that's freed up and by pressing menu again now that channel is saved again so one four zero 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 that random frequency we entered earlier is going to be saved under channel number two so again if we go to channel mode and we go to number two sorry we go to number two now one four zero zero is going to be saved under number two just so you guys know so I'm not saying use those certain frequencies. I just want to show you guys how to save um, certain frequencies without having to use the computer. Another pro tip really quick, just so you guys know, if you want to scan for certain chatter or certain frequencies, or just to expand um, the options that you're able to save from channel mode. Uh, let's go to the lowest frequency I'm allowed to, which I believe is going to be 138000. So now at this point, I'm going to... If you see right here, it says S-C-A-N. I'm gonna hold that scan button. And now you can see it's scanning. So once it hits a certain frequency where people are talking on or, or certain chatter, it will, it'll stop for a little bit and kind of let you listen to it. That way you can see the number. If you wanna go back and save that number under a certain channel, you'll know how to do it. Obviously we talked about it earlier in the video. Just kind of wanted to throw it out there for you guys how to save certain channels, also how to scan for certain frequencies or certain chatter, and also how to delete channels. So at that point, I'm gonna exit really quick just to show you guys some other options. If you wanna use this as an emergency flashlight, you're gonna press this bottom button right here. Now I have a flashlight, as you can tell right here. Right here, as you can see it. 
You can also use it as a strobe by pressing it twice. And then to turn it off, you press it one more time and it'll turn off. Just the emergency flashlight, which is pretty cool, or if you need to signal with the strobe light. Also, if you want to listen to the FM radio, you're going to press this button up top. And now we're on FM. You can scan for your local channel. Just so you know, uh, some options that you have with the uh, Beofang UV5R. You don't have to have a license at all to own this and to listen to certain frequencies. And if you're ever in a life-saving emergency, you don't have to have a license to use it also. That's another topic. Another thing is you can remove this antenna and put another antenna on there if you'd like. But to be honest, for what I'm doing, the uh, antenna right here is fine. I'm also looking into the little shorter, stubbier ones because, again, I'm not trying to transmit far. This is more for if I'm training with certain friends or just for family situations with emergencies, etc. Definitely a solid option. But, but to have that antenna, if you do ever need to uh, reach out further, it's nice to have an option, just so you know. I highly recommend, though, getting the $5 Chirp software on your computer, getting the Kenwood attachment, plugging this into your computer, and go ahead and program all your frequencies and certain ones that you want to train with with your friends. It'll be a lot easier, a lot more efficient. I just wanted to show you that there is an option to scan and also program certain frequencies in here without needing the computer though, just so you guys know. They also have uh, extended batteries, which I have on my other one in my chest rig. So again, a cool option um, if you'd like. You can have an extended battery, which is going to make it look a little bit taller, but it's also going to extend that battery life. So yeah, I highly recommend this if you're looking to get into comms. <laughs> So this is a local channel. I'm not sure who they are. Okay, dokey. And this is a real good repeater should come out here, especially tonight at. Uh... But yeah, so just wanted to show you that you're able to uh, scan and listen for chatter like that, like I found, and you don't need a license to do any of that. Just so you know. So again, if you're ever in an emergency situation, uh, you have channels programmed that are, you know have local chatter on there. And you'd be able to reach out once you turn it on and, and go to those certain frequencies that you saved on your channel mode. Again, I uh, just wanted to put a little video out there for you guys that are looking to get started with the radio or the Beofang UV5R in general. Can't recommend this radio enough. I myself am learning a lot and I still have a long ways to go. But so far, this has been a solid option and I've been liking it a lot. So it's very uh, budget friendly as well. It's less than $30 online. Uh, numerous Amazon options. So I'll post a link for this Beofang UV5R below in the description if you guys are interested. And again, if you guys have any questions, make sure to shoot me a comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.